Welcome back to Minecraft Nuts and Bolts Torqued. Well, now that I've realized the secret, which isn't really a secret, of the bloomery, I have tons of iron. I have over a stack now, and I've got plenty more. Enough here for probably another one or two stacks. So, tons of iron. Did a bit of extra mining, so I've also got some more ore that I set up in here. Definitely a lot of gold, especially. Yeah, this thing doesn't have any power left. Can it burn that? Yes, it can. I'll just give it one piece. This stuff burns for a long time. Let that do some macerating. Mm, I think it's stuck. I've noticed an odd thing with the macerator where sometimes it just stops working until you break it and then place it again. Maybe it's when I move to another dimension. It gets stuck or something. And now it'll work, right? Uh, no? Last time to get it working, I broke both of these, but it didn't work until I broke the macerator, so I thought it was just the macerator, but perhaps it's actually both that need to be broken. Of course, this thing loses all of its power. Let's try that again. Now it works! They both have to be broken. That makes no sense at all. I hate these machines. Anyway. Let's... Well, my goal for this episode, I think, is to get a bit of a power system going, a renewable power system that doesn't run on coal, get some more machines to run off of that power system, and move all my stuff topside. So let's get to it. Um, I'm going to move my stuff first, so I'm very, very sorry, cows. I'm going to have to kill a couple. I need some hides. Oh no, I hit the baby. Six sides? That's probably enough. Now, I've got a couple options for storage. I can get into backpacks. Basic backpack, upgrade it to an iron backpack and stuff like that. Or I can go for a golden bag of holding. Normally I go for the golden bag of holding, but let's go for a backpack. I think they're more customizable and more upgradable. And by more upgradable, I mean actually upgradable. The golden bags of holding... I don't know why I call them golden bags of holding. They're actually just called bag of holding. They just happen to be gold. <laughs> um, these are not upgradable whatsoever. Except that you can enchant it to make it so that you don't lose it upon death, but that's not really a uh, upgrade. But the iron backpacks are very upgradable. Ironically, the first backpack in iron backpacks is not actually made out of iron. Wool, chest, and four leather. Okay. Uh, wool. That would be down here, I think. I know I crushed up some of it to make string, but I think I have some left. Yes. Uh, just. And we have a basic backpack. Alright, let's just upgrade that right away. So, iron backpack. Uh, increase backpack tier. So a bunch of iron and another chest. There we go. Iron backpack. What's the next tier? It might be gold. If it is, then I have tons of gold. Yeah. It is. I'm guessing that's the same thing. Yep, a chest and some gold ingots. Alright, I got plenty of gold. Uh, I'm not sure if I have enough processed into ingots, though. No, I don't. I haven't really smelted any of it. Well, let's get that going. That should be enough gold. Aha! Uh -huh. I have no idea how much this actually holds, by the way. Let's see. Oh, not bad. That looks a about on par with what the bag of holding holds. I don't remember how much that holds exactly, but it's roughly the same. Alright, now so just from that I now have something that more than doubles my inventory space. Pretty sweet, huh? So now if I want to move stuff, I don't have to do some ridiculous inventory juggle. At least not totally ridiculous. I can... Mm, I feel like there's a shortcut for this. 
Like, I can... There's probably some way to suck up the chest. What if I, like, sneak and right-click? Oh, that's to name it? I can name it? Let me see if there's an easy way to suck everything from the chest into it. Uh, it doesn't seem like there is a way to do it. The nearest thing to it is there's a quick deposit, which is basically the reverse. It allows you to quickly empty everything from the backpack into an inventory, but I don't think it allows you to do the reverse. So I think the easiest way to do this, actually, is probably just put everything in my inventory into it. Which unfortunately doesn't use all the slots, so there's quite a bit wasted, but still, not bad. Shouldn't take long to move all this stuff, so I'll be right back. Everything is moved. Well, almost everything. I kind of did it in a really stupid way, and I accidentally despawned some of my stuff down there. So, some of it's gone. I'm not quite sure what, but it's alright. The most important stuff is here. I still got my diamonds, including some of the extra ones that I got while I was mining off camera. I think I was down to two before, and I'm up to six. Yeah, I've still got all that stuff. I've still got my iron ingots. And I think I've got all of my ore. Yeah, I'm good. We're fine. Don't worry about it. How are we doing on processing? Not even close to done. How's this thing doing? It actually went through all of it. Yeah, it did. Alright, so I've got a little bit over two stacks. Cool. Right, well with everything moved, the next thing I want to start on is trying to get the water wheel. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't mention that before. I'm going to make a water wheel, and that's going to be my passive power generation. But before that, the water wheel requires some stuff that I can more efficiently get if I make a metal former. So let's make this thing. So the metal former will allow you to make things like um, things like wires and plates a lot more efficiently. So instead of, I'm, I'm pretty sure that instead of one iron ingot plus a hammer equaling one plate, I'm pretty sure in the metal former it'll equal two plates. Let's just check that. Um, that's steel. Actually, it doesn't look like it is doubling it. Oh, man. It doesn't double it. Hmm. Okay, but it's still totally worth it. Even if it doesn't double the actual plate itself, it will allow you to make cable a lot better. So you get three cables by chopping up one ingot. Which I'm pretty sure is more than you get by snipping up a plate. Right? It better be. Ah, too many recipes. I'm pretty sure it's better. <laughs> and it's in the list of things that we should make, so I'm pretty sure they wouldn't put it there without a good reason. Right, let's make it. Bunch of coils. Yeah, unfortunately, to make it, I'm going to need to make a bunch of copper cable. Bunch of copper cable. 24, to be exact, just for those. 24 for that. We're gonna need some more bronze. Oh, we're gonna need one of those, which is gonna take a bit more, so... 24 plus 6, we're gonna need 32 copper cable. Wow, that's gonna be a lot of plates. It's alright, got tons of copper. Do I need to use the IC2 hammer for this? No, I can make this one. There is a chance that this immersive engineering copper plate can't be snipped. Because the snipper's from IC2, the plate is from immersive engineering. It's one of those weird things, when you get tons of mods, you get a lot of overlap. Where there might be like three different mod types of a certain plate. Copper plate from immersive engineering, and IC2, and who knows what else. Let's see if I can snip that. Good, you can. And yeah, you get two copper cables for snipping it, so if we use the metal former, we'll get three out of this. And it'll probably be faster, sort of. At least we won't have to manually check up on it, and it won't use the durability. Alright, let's make a whole bunch of these. So what did I need? 32? So 15. Yeah, that'll do it perfectly, actually. 15 will become 30, plus the two I've already got. Boop. Ooh, do I still have the rubber? Did I lose the rubber? No. Good. 
I'm going to need six rubber covered cables. How many of those do I need? Three. Three. So all that plus an iron plate and redstone. I'm gonna move this over here. So we got that and that. We need the toolboxes. Ah, right, the bronze. Do I have any bronze left? I probably don't. So three copper to one tin. I'll do nine of that. And then, do I have any tin left? Is the question, I guess. Actually, I think I might have some tin left in the smeltery. Right? Yeah, okay. It's actually even a little bit of bronze left. <laughs> I've got so many different things in this, it's hard to even see the differences. So that'll turn into bronze, that's... well, that's going. Bunch of iron plates and a sturdy casing, and this... oh! We're gonna need even more bronze. Gonna need a lot of bronze. Or go the hardened clay and tin route. Nah, let's go with the bronze. Alright. I'm gonna plop in even more. And I might need some more tin as well, so let me go see if I need to process some more tin. Alright, we got a whole bunch of bronze now. Should be enough, and I've got another block going as well, just in case it isn't. So, what were we doing? The middle four. Got that, got that. Toolboxes, bronze item casings. Uh, actually, see how many I need. So I need 10, you get 2 per plate, so I need 5 bronze plates. Yeah, that one you can't use the engineer's hammer, you gotta use the forge hammer. Five of those. No, don't snip them. Don't snip them, hammer them again. And two chests. I got no wood. Can it be any type of chest? Please tell me yes. Yes, good. I don't have enough oak to make the plain oak chest. I keep needing chests. I'm just gonna make them all. Two of those. Alright, now we got everything but the basic machine casing. We're gonna need sturdy casing. So, eight bronze plates. Oh, right. Plus... Redstone gear. Oh. Oh, we can make it this way. Good. Actually, we might be able to make redstone alloy in the uh, smelter. Okay, turns out that's a dead end and I can't do it. So, instead, we're going to go the other route, the old route. This one. So I've got the hardened clay, I've got the basic gears, now I need to turn into two tin gears and two copper gears. Tin? Oh, I don't have ingots for the tin yet. Well, that's alright. We can do the other one first. Where's my, there's my copper. Alright, we got those. Tin ingots ready for me over here. Oh, and I'm starting to do the table thing where I've got the recipe for the metal former all laid out. Now, that should do it, except I need a bucket of lava. Actually, rather than just getting a single bucket, I'm gonna make a little canister, the same one I used to suck up all the creosote oil. That one time, before it, before the crafting window ate the entire thing. I'm going to make one of those and I'm just going to fill it up with lava so I have a bunch available to me. I've got 32 buckets of lava now. In the form of two fluid tanks. Alright, 
right, now we can definitely make it. Check. Now we need a bunch of iron plates. There we go. Let's plop that in. And we have a friggin' metal former. Let's put this thing right down next to the generator. Uh, before I put power into that, let's decide exactly what I want to make with this. So I can extrude it, turn it into um, pipes, wires, whatever you want to call it. Can cut it and roll it into sheets. What's the difference between cutting? Because if you, I mean, if you cut up a plate, it turns into wire. If you extrude an ingot, it turns into wire. What's the difference? I think cutting's a little less efficient. Turn it into a plate and then cut it. I think that's less efficient than just directly extruding it, if I remember right. So maybe this cutting is meant as like a reprocessing thing, where if you turn all your stuff into plates, but you happen to want it to be wire, you can reprocess it at a little bit of a efficiency penalty. Anyway, so I'm going to need a bunch of copper cable, actually. Yeah, that'll be enough. Let's give this thing some power. And there it goes. Let's see if this generator can keep up. So that one just filled up. This one is now very slowly filling up. Yeah, so this generator actually produces more power than both of these things can take running it at full tilt all at the same time. Neat. Yeah, look at how efficient that is. Turns in the three copper cables. I want to see it again. Oh, so good. Right, so the point of all that was to make water wheels. So... Before making the water wheel itself, I'm going to focus on what the water wheel connects to. It has to connect to a... A... Uh, kinetic... Dynamo. And that, oh no! <laughs> it needs another sturdy casing! Oh, I hate this thing. This thing's terrible. I gotta make those gears all over again. Copper and tin and clay. Well, I've already got the clay on me. But uh, the basic gears are actually surprisingly expensive to make. You think a basic gear would be, well, basic. I think it's just like sticks and cobblestone in the basic recipe, but this one takes cobblestone and redstone torches. Which, I mean, isn't anything extreme, but it's just... It's a little over the top. <sighs> you know what? While I'm making that, I'm just going to make, like, two sturdy casings, because I seem to keep needing them. I'll be right back. Alright, I've got pretty much everything laid out on these tables to make the kinetic dynamo, but I'm missing one thing. I need an ender pearl. Ender pearl come from endermen, which spawn at night. They're fairly powerful. I'm pretty confident I can take one. Um, but before doing that, I think I should probably make at least an iron sword. And you know what? Maybe I'll just make some iron armor. Yeah, let's just make some iron armor, too. And I'm going to go enderman hunting. So, iron sword. I'm just going to go ahead and throw away this stone one. And what, are, what am I wearing right now? Leather tunic. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I think I forgot to mention the first set of boots. So I got this like almost broken set of boots a long time ago that I put on from an enemy that broke at some point and then I put on this other crappy pair of boots that are also almost broken. But I guess that's good enough for my feet. I'm going to make all the other pieces. That's not the helmet. Does it go all the way down? Did I forget how to make the helmet? No! Oh, I forgot that's a thing that expert mod packs do sometimes. They make it, they make tier crafting. So in vanilla, you can make just iron straight up. Just using iron, and that's it. Iron ingots. You don't need to turn it into plates, and you also don't need the previous tier. But this requires you to make iron, you need chain helmet to make chain, you need leather. You know, I, I, okay, I'm just not going to make armor. <laughs> I'll live. 
Unless I die. Yeah, look at this hardcore darkness. So mostly I'm taking a look at the map. Especially since I can't see much by actually looking in front of me. So I'm looking for the Enderman symbol. They can be surprisingly rare sometimes. What are you? Oh. Oh. Bye. Certain enemies don't show up as having an icon on the map. Rabbits! Oh my god, I can't wait to capture them and put them into a pen. I want a rabbit farm. Or, not a farm, but like a rabbit habitat. It's another one of those R's magical flickers. Christ, there's so many enemies in front of me. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, I've seen them around. Dryads from Ars Magica. I'm not sure what you do with them. They're not enemies. Maybe you have to trade with them or something at some point. Oh. Yeah, they can be elusive sometimes. Wow, there's a lot of enemies around me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Creepers and arrows. Oops. I accidentally placed a torch. Normally I would cut this sort of thing out, but... I don't go adventuring that much. And the nighttime is pretty dark and creepy and pretty dangerous at the moment, especially since I don't really have any good armor. It'd be funny if I finally found an Enderman and then I died. By the way, Endermen are not guaranteed to drop ender pearls, so I might find one and they might not drop it. <gasps> There's one! I've literally been running almost all night. You can see the sun's just starting to come up, but I see one on the map, and it looks like there's a lot of enemies around them. The good thing about Endermen is that they don't attack you unless you look at them, so it's I can clear out the other enemies before attacking it. I think that just blew up the Enderman a little bit. Another cool zombie. James has always been cool. Oh, there's two Endermen. Okay, I think we can prep the battle arena a little bit. Wait, what am I doing? Ah. So Endermen are three tall, so if I make something that's too tall, they won't be able to get to me, but I should still be able to attack them. It's almost daytime, they're gonna teleport away if I don't attack soon. Alright, one second. Let me do this, and then look at it. Don't need to really look at it if you just punch it, I guess. Wow. 
Aha, and I dropped an ender pearl, and what is that? What is that little spirit? Is it following me? Ooh. Ah, poison ivy. Where'd it go? What? Ender Mini is so adorable. It doesn't even get annoyed at me when I look at it. I don't even want to kill it. Is it? <laughs> it doesn't even attack me. It's so cute. Oh, I wish I could capture it. Dang. I don't think I could get it even if I had my golden lasso on me. I think that only works on passive mobs, and this is probably technically an enemy. So I could get it using something like a soul vial, but that is far in the future. But now I know they exist. I will look for you. I will look for you in the future. Back home. And before I craft this thing, I just realized... I think I got the shades from the zombie this time. Oh yeah. Nah. Right, so I need um, a fragment of the ender pearl. So if I combine the ender pearl with a glass cutter... Which is just some iron and a stick. Get ender shards. Now what did I need that for? Um, it's for the red crystal, right? Yeah, the resonating redstone crystal. I had some more of these, but that's one of the things that accidentally got deleted when it despawned from the world. But you can remake it with redstone and an ender shard. What the... Plus some ingots behind. Oh, I don't have a redstone. Whoops. Just make a new crafting table here. Make one of those. Okay, so got everything here to make two sturdy casings already ready. Oh, right, except for the bucket I needed to refill out with lava. Okay, got everything ready to make the coils. I have no room in my inventory, though. Put some important tools that I probably won't need for the immediate future in here, glass cutter and whatnot. Don't need two sturdy casings at the moment. There's all the coils I need. This is for the final assembly. Oh, I think the red crystal actually goes there. So, kinetic dynamo. Yes. And there we go. We have a kinetic dynamo. Alright, that's a very good start. That's probably the hardest part of it, I think. I hope. But there's a couple other things to do as well. I have the thing that the water wheel, uh, the water mill is going to plug into, but now I need the actual water mill itself. Wheel mill, water, water wheel. It takes steel. <laughs> Nothing I do works. Oh, why didn't I realize that? Oh, no. <sighs> okay, calm down. Calm down. It just takes a single steel ingot. One of the quests I have is actually to make steel. I'm pretty sure I can make steel. Oh, I completed a quest, apparently. Oh, right. The metal former. Nice. Which one's more valuable? Basic machine casing. What does that take? Ah, that takes a sturdy casing. I'm gonna get that. So 
So right here, blast furnace. So I need 28 blast brick. I think I looked at the recipe for blast brick and I believe what it took is a bunch of coal coke, right? Iron plate. Oh no, oh no, that's right, it doesn't take coal coke, it just takes a lot of iron. That's one of the reasons I was making so much iron. Okay, so yeah, we can absolutely make this. Let's make this and let's start making some steel. So to make more camnite than I'm going to need, I'm going to need a bunch of bones. So let's kill some skeletons real quick. Also, I have no inventory space. Um, emergency purge. It's daytime, I don't want them to disappear. Oh, it's a baby. So cute. Did I get no bones? No bones! Alright, so I'm not going to be able to get done what I wanted to get done in this episode with the whole water wheel and stuff, because I've still got to get steel up and going. But, one of the things I need to get steel up and going is a bunch of Kamenite, and for that I need a bunch of Kamenite blend, and for that, basically I need a bunch of bones, still. So let's end on me killing a bunch of skeletons, and to do that, I want to get a little bit more properly geared up so that I don't take so much damage. I'm going to make the different tiers of armor. So leather cap, leather pants, leather boots, and we've already got the leather tunic. It is broken at this point, pretty much, uh, but hopefully I can still use it to craft with. So chain mail. Let's make the chain mail version. It's just the leather thing plus a bunch of iron bars. Ah, no, it needs the full version of it. I don't believe I... No, I don't have enough leather. Alright, we'll leave that piece off. Two armor, four armor, one armor. Okay. Now, is the steel, or the iron version, is it actually any better? A little bit. This one gives four, this one gives five. But that's a lot of iron just for a minimal upgrade in protection. So let's just see what these on their own do. Okay, not bad. Five things of armor. I'll take it. Oh. Oh. It sounds somewhere between kind of cool and also I'm already sick of it. There it is. It's part of dynamic surroundings. Modifies a bunch of the sounds. Armor sounds. False. Much better. Alright. Now that it is dark... Where are my torches? What did I do with all my torches? Yoink. What? They were there the whole time! Mystery solved. Go kill some skeletons. I see one over here. Oh, really? Oh, really? You know, freaking king of my furnace. Coke oven. Oh. oh, it's just a concussion creeper. You can blow me up. Two more over this way. And an Enderman. Well, that one looks strange, too. Lag spike? Lag spike. No, okay, that one's normal. Hi. Dare I look at you? Yes. Oh! 
Oh. I got it down to... I got it down to literally 1% health. It was down to 1%. Man. It's my first death. You're not still mad at me, are you? <laughs> hmm? I've never... I, I've used a lot of grave mods. It basically, when you die, it puts all of your inventory into a grave, but I haven't used one of this type. Turns out you get your grave back by sneaking while walking over it. I'm used to graves where you have to actually break them, but I like that system better. Alright, where were we? Nice pants. Ooh. Look, I could jump too, Bun Buns. Trying to get the skeletons without all the husks. Oh, and spiders too. Oh crap, everything's after me. Uh oh, uh oh. <sighs> Almost had him. Oh, that's a witch. Which is a very dangerous. Leggings of some sort. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Look how many arrows I have in me. Ouch. Steel leggings. Ooh. Six armor compared to my four. They're pretty close to broken, but... I don't know, their max durability is pretty high, so even pretty close to broken is actually not that much less durability than my chain leggings. Yoink. Not enough bones. I need more bones. That actually probably is enough, but I still want more. Oh, this one's on the map, but it's not here. I'll find you. Come here, skeleton. Ah, it's not worth it. Ah, I got a skeleton skull. Nice. Well, on that note of 11 bones, I gained a couple more on the way back to the base camp from skeletons burning in the sunlight. I think I'm going to end it. Didn't get the water wheel going, but that's all right. Got some more stuff going. Moved everything topside and got some armor and a bunch of lava and... Oh. The sunglasses. I got that they protected them from the sunlight, making them so they don't burn, but I guess by being in the sunlight it uses up the durability of the glasses and they just broke. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, cows! I'm gonna hit the zombie. Oh. Yeah, got a decent amount of stuff done. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I am going to get a blast furnace going, which will allow me to make steel, and that will allow me to make a whole bunch of things, including uh, not just the water wheel that I want to make for power, but it'll also allow me to make the tool forge, and I can finally make some proper tools. 